Hi, my name is Ming Gang Xu. Uh, our project is to uh, explore sequence to sequence with attention for text summarization. In the beginning, I want to talk about what is some text summarization. The automatic text summarization is uh, using computer to produce a text from one or more texts that conveys important information in the original text, and that is no longer than half of the original text, and usually uh, significantly less than that. As for the methods for the automatic text summarization, there are two mainstream methods. The first one is extractive summarization, which is to identify important sections of the text and generate them word by chain. And the second one is abstractive summarization, which is to aim at producing important material in a new way. And we have two motivations in our project. The first one, and also the most important one, is to explore mainstream approach for abstractive automatic text summarization. And the second one is to compare abstractive with extractive method. So in our project, we did both of them and we are focused more on the uh, abstractive method. The modeling method for extractive summarization is sequence to sequence. It contains two parts, the encoder and decoder. The encoder encodes the input text into a semantic vector. The vector can be seen as a vectorization or representation of the or original text. So we can think that the vector contains the most semantics of the original text. Then we use decoder to decode the vector into a classification result sequence which means the input text can or cannot be extracted as a summarization. With a classification result sequence, we can get a summarization from original text. In our project, we use RNN to build up the encoder and decoder. The process of the extractive method is that we uh, encode the input text into a sentence embedding with CNN, then give the encoding results and the inputs uh, to the encoder of the sequence-to-sequence -sequence model. Then we decode the semantic vector into a classification result sequence. And finally, we can get the summarization. We use six convolutional layers to do the uh, extractive sum uh, sum summarization. The structure is shown by the picture. So the fit size of the sixth layer is 50, and then each map is six. So the final embedding size is 50 times 6 equals 300. The encoder and decoder in the sequence-to-sequence -sequence model, we use a bidirectional RNN. The structure is also shown by the picture. So we use one bidirectional GRU RNN for both encoder and decoder. This picture shows the results uh, and the final uh, training loose is about 0.86. And the value loose is about 0 0.92. And we I want to talk about a little about the root score. So for the text summarization, people usually use root score to evaluate the results equal uh, quality. Uh, it's a little complicated to explain here. It compares the output summary with the reference abstract. We can simply say that the larger the root score is, the better the results are. Here, the root 2 score is 25.85%. It's not very bad. Now I will introduce the attention model of the abstractive summarization. The main improvement of the attention model is the context factor. The context factor in attention model is derived from the hidden layer state of encoder. So mm, it will capture or grab more information from the input text and uh, can perform better. So next I will talk something about preprocessing. So because our model need a form, uh, form input format, so we need to uh, transfer our original sentence to a serialization sentence and uh, transfer the summaries to uh, a one-hot matrix. The one-hot matrix have a problem because the shape of the one-hot matrix is m by 10 by d. The m is the size of the data 
data site and the T is the sentence length and the D is the uh, size of the vocabulary. So if we have a very large data site, maybe we will cause a memory error. So our solution is building our own data generator. The data generator can produce a batch size of data uh, instead of reading and processing all data in one time. So it can save a lot of memories. And the next I will talk about the, the attention implementation. So because the Keras did not provide the uh, attention layer, so we need to write it by ourselves. Uh, our attention layer have two input A and uh, S prime. The A is the hidden layer state of encoder. The S prime is the last round of hidden layer of uh, output of decoder. And uh, the first step is we need to concatenate the S and the H in the picture, and we can get the concat vector and the next we need to import the concat vector to a DNN model. So notice that the DNN model have a softmax output layer so we can get the corresponding uh, weights of the uh, hidden la layer state of encoder and then finally just dot the state with the uh, weights so we can get the context vector and uh, finally I will introduce something about uh, the prediction so in our prediction uh, the first three steps are same with preprocessing and uh, after we get the model output we can have a probability matrix which is the soft or max output. So uh, our goal is to get a most likely summary. So we need to decode it by ArcMax or Beam search and uh, map the number to a word and finally we can get our predicted summary. Hi, I'm Xin Taiwan. Next, I'll talk about our result. So basically, this is an original refer uh, original script, and we use highlight as summary reference. This is the outcome from the Jensen summarization with the limited 50 word law. So this is some outcome from the Jensen, and this is the highlights reference. So then, our, then we compute the rogue score for this. <coughs> you can see the rogue score is no, it's too low. Some reason for that, first it has too much word, around the 43,000 words in script. That's too large. And highlights are not real summary. It took us too many time to train the model for 1000 epochs. It cost more than 10 hours. And our model is relatively small, so the loss score is hard to decrease. Then we convert to DUC dataset. It only has 1100 sentences in input script and this around 6,000 word in script and 4,000 word in reference. We do the same processing to the original sentences. Then this is some good example for our model. But you can see there's some weird repetition problem. I'll talk it about later. So this is the <coughs> final root score <coughs> and uh, this is the topic model score so for data 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 set choose basically policy is 
choose large data set with relatively small vocabulary. And the fur out further exploration, since our model is transformed from the machine translation model. So th this is a weird repetition problem. So there's two solutions to that. First is coverage, coverage vector, which deal with repetition. And the second is pointer generator. It deal with com co copying problems. That's all. Thank you.